Well, thanks for those, Martin. I'll finish up at Hereford with the qualifier. So first up is a three-mile, three-furlong handicap for the Moors Millions, leg 13. El Villar Bean for Vinnie Gerard. Place the Duchess for Alex Cherry. Kaleidoscopic River for Martin Needham. David Robertson's Lavier Palariva. Pontypool's Silent Voices and Watchtower. El Villar Prompt for Vinnie Gerard. John Morgan's Eskimo Star. Matt Cooper's Nelidi Moment. Daniel French's Monash VJ. David Hooley's Long Beach. The Think of a Martin Needham. Craig Beckwith's Velvet Sky. Roll Wedding for Matt Cooper. Amorous Scarlet for Stu Gray. Pedro Hogan's Rab and Kral. Stu Gray's his mother's parents and Cool Johnson for Alex Cherry makes up a massive field here of 18 there isn't many three three mile three five furlong races this week so you can see why they're all here I have 21 fences to take here at Hereford home of the SAS as we get to the first they all clear it Villar Prompt. No, it's not El Villar Prompt way out there. I think it's El Villar Bean. It's the one that's riding widest of all. It's Eskimo Star and Nalidi Moment. They're going to lead us to the second, which is a plain one. The leaders are over it. Everyone else clears it. A little bit of a mistake there, I think, by Velvet Sky for Craig Beckwith. Running about seven wide. Blue silks, white sleeves, white cap. It's Eskimo Star and the Leedy Moment that are going to lead us by about four to the three of Watchtower, the Thinker, and Cool Jonathan up against the Row. And we've been follow Amorous Scarlet and Kaleidoscopic River as they go to the third. They all clear that. A couple of sticky jumps. One that stick, I think, was worst of all was his mother's parents, also running around about seven or eight wide as they go past the grandstand. They all start to turn right in a minute. They want to get over towards the Row that uh, a little bit wide are going to lose lengths here. But it's Eskimo Star by half a length now to a leady moment. Let's go over another plain one. It's the fourth. And we'll clear that better. So Eskimo Star and a leady moment by three to watch how the thinker and call Jonathan. And Monish VJ and place the Duchess El Villar Bean and Royal Wedding on his inside. And the first of the Clutterbuck Horses, which is Silent Voices. Side his mother's parents, they get to this ditch, the fifth. They all clear that one. The pecton land at the rear was Long Beach for David Hooley. And the Lavier Palariva at the rear. So they get to the six. They all clear that again. Mistakes at the back this time, but Amorous Scarlet and Velvet Sky. But Eskimo Star's taking it up on his own now. Leads by a couple from the leading moment. Then Watchtower is in third. Then called Jonathan the Thinker. Place the Duchess and El Villar Bean. Monish VJ, Clouded Scrop at River and Royal Wedding as they go over the seventh. And all clear that. Then we've got his mother's parents as pulled back up. Out wide is Rab and Kral in the yellow silks. Back towards the route. It's Kaleidoscopic River as they go over that one. That's the eighth. It's on the outside of Kaleidoscopic River is El Villar prompt. Followed through by Lavier Palariva up against the fence. Amorous Scarlet Long Beach and Velvet Skies just bring up the rear as they all go over the ninth. So we're just under a couple of miles to go. It is still John Morgan's Eskimo star that leads. Three away from the needy moment. And Watchtown called Jonathan. And we're now being on the outside of the thinker. Between those is Place the Duchess and his mother's parents. Monash VJ, Royal Wedding and... Silent voices between those as they get to the tenth. The leaders have cleared it. As does the remainder. There's probably 15 lengths between first and last. We can't actually see Long Beach. Yes, we can. Just his head there at the end. But it's Eskimo Star that leads them on out. So this plain one takes it well. Oh, we've lost one there, and the leading moment's gone. Didn't make much of an effort to get over that. Threw himself into the fence. And Matt Cooper loses his. One of his runners, he's still got Royal Wedding in here. He's been around for a couple of seasons. It's this Eskimo style that's going to lead him alongside the grandstand. Let's take the 12th. Which they all clear, which will be the last next time round. So it's Eskimo star, star in one. Watchtower is two. Called Jonathan is three. Place the Touches is four. Think of five. His mother's parents is six. A little bit wide of El Villar Bean. And they're followed through by Monash VJ, Silent Voices, Amorous Scarlet Roll, Wedding still running five, six wide. Kaleidoscopic Rivers in there, Lavier, Peverier has moved up a little bit. Left Long Beach and Velvet Sky in a back marker positions. Also 
back there is El Villar prompt. But our leader, Eskimo Star, still leads by three to call Jonathan in second. Watchtower just takes a little hold. El Villar being his mother's parents and the thinker out wide. Sorry, out, up against the route, the thinker out wide is silent voices as they go over the 14th. Bunching up the ones behind. So Eskimo Star still leads, takes a little breather into the 15th, takes it well. Good jump by second place Watchtower within a length now. Called Jonathan is in third. El Villar been improving all the time. Also out wide is Silent Voices. The two Stu Grey horses and the Black Silks, his mother's parents and Amorous Scarlet are there. Still up against the row with no running room is the Thinker. Lavier Pav Pavariva is making up ground all the time. To go over that and still that. Tal and Charlie is Long Beach. They're all going under a little bit of pressure now as they're going to the 17th, five from home. And it's still Eskimo Star from Watchtower called Jonathan trying to improve, moving well up on the wide outside is the yellow silks of Rabban Kral. And it's Rabban Kral that's going to try and get to this one as they go over the 18th, a big ditch. They all clear it. Lavier Palariva was really slow, but it's Eskimo Star still holds them all off from Rabban Kral out wide called Jonathan. Watchtower doesn't look like he's got a lot left out. Further wider is Silent Voices and Amorous Scarlet. But it's this leader they've still got to catch inside the final half mile. Eskimo Star from Rabban Kral called Jonathan. Jonathan, Silent Voices, Amorous, Scarlet, Watchtower out wide is Long Beach eating up the ground as we come inside the three and it's Eskimo Star and Raven Kral go over it together. The rest clear it and it's Raven Kral and Eskimo Star. A long time leader's taken on by Raven Kral now. has got a bit of weight to help and it's Raven Kral but Eskimo Star's got a bit left inside the quarter mile now as they come down to the 20th. He's over it well and pulls away. Amorous, Scarlet on the wide outside seems to be the only one trying to run him down called Jonathan, the Watchtower. The rest you can ride off, fell on an after run, and it's Eskimo Star. Two, three length advantage from Amara Scarlet in second, called Jonathan Sird, Watchtower. Running on now well is the old Villar Bean, but we're inside the final fell, and we're coming down to the last. And it's Eskimo Star that comes into it, gets over it slow, but so does called Jonathan Amara Scarlet. But it's going to be Eskimo Star that's going to take this running on really well now. It's Kaleidoscopic River. But no, called Jonathan maybe on the line there from Eskimo Star. Did he throw the race right at the end? Wait and see. They both qualify for the final. It was more interesting to see what was going on behind them. Does he get up? I don't think he does. No, he does. Claude Jonathan takes it on the line from Eskimo Star, Amorous Scarlet, and Kaleidoscopic River. There you are four that will qualify. Short head win. Well done to Alex Cherry. Off 10 stone three compared to poor old Eskimo Star, who was carrying a stone more, was second. Amorous Scarlet was third for Stu Gray. Kaleidoscopic River for Martin Needham was fourth. And Watched Half for Punchable Racing was fifth. We'll move on to leg 14 of the Moors Millions.